Oh, look at that. That I feel like is new. I feel like I'm grieving, not just for my own loss, but like the loss of restaurants as I knew them. Right now it's, it's pretty bleak in the industry. Perseverance might be little more than the preservation of hope during the most hopeless of times. My mom used to say that if you lose hope, you've lost everything. Everything. In a year when so many risk just that. There you go, sweetie. See you later. Hope. Okay, not what is that need. Seemed as uncommon <sighs> as a full house. New ticket in. And a long wait. It's rough out here these days. I miss just rooms of people just like, yeah, man. Like it's just been such a fixture in my life. Rooms of people kept Dolores Tronco Di Piero in and out of Colorado's dining scene for more than a decade. At the worst possible time, she's ready to get back in and she's terrified. The easiest thing would be to quit. This is not a great time to be a restaurateur or to have to start over. But I don't quit. That's not who I am. Thank you for joining us. We're joined by Joe Burrell. We need to act to flatten the curve and we need to be realistic. These steps are very painful. These are very difficult decisions. The goal of which are to reduce the severity and duration of these Good morning. Sweetheart, it's to go only. Sir, it's to go only. To go only. Every place is like that today for like the next 30 days. It's crazy, huh? Crazy. Makes me cry. It's hard to remember what it was like. You don't watch the news? On day one. It's a damper. It's putting a hurt not only on us, but everybody else that has to work here. We're all human beings and we're all people who gotta get up and pay bills every day. Back then, no one could have known just how many dark days would follow. I can't have no one in the in-house line, boss. They don't want nobody sitting down, boss. I'm sorry. So I think my toughest day really was just realizing that this is true, that it's really, it's, it's not going away real quick. Within weeks, Colorado restaurant owners let go or furloughed nearly three out of every four of their employees. 173,000 jobs disappeared. Oh, these are people's livelihoods. You know, with COVID-19, it's nothing I've ever seen in, in, in my lifetime. And it changes. It seems like it changes on a daily basis. Jeff Osaka did what hundreds of others did. He broke up with a place he loved for good. And that gets taken away. You know, it's like a part of your soul that kind of gets ripped out of you. I mean, this is my restaurant. I mean, it's, it's personal to me. It's, it's not just the business side of it. I mean, it meant, it, it meant sharing a part of me. Cafe in Castle Rock. Others in elected Here comes the cash to fight. The video today shows a cafe in Castle Rock. As they defied the order and remained open briefly. We had a couple mothers that said, I want nothing more but to spend Mother's Day eating inside your restaurant. Just because you disagree with the law doesn't mean that you get to violate that law. Governor Jared Polis pulled their business license indefinitely. It didn't work. Even these donations amounted to little more than window dressing. There was a drive inside me. There always has been. And that's just like, let's just see how far I can go. And I think I wanted to know, not just that I could open a restaurant, but that I could do it in the hardest place. We knew deep down that it was New York or nowhere. This was supposed to be where Dolores Tronco Di Piero's love affair with restaurants was to continue. And I just, felt like I could see us being there. If you can make it here, well, 
you know the rest. We opened on December 11th, 2019. It was a Wednesday. And for more than two months, it worked. Seats and reservation lists filled until one day. We got awfully close. The virus came into the city. We had a really busy night. And then Sunday, it was just over. That was the end of the Banty as we knew it. A loss felt as acutely as any she's ever felt. And I've asked myself a thousand times every day, I'm like, should I have stayed? Should I have just tried to battle it out? 24 eggs. Battle so just crack them, it and weigh them, and then out. Eggs. Yeah, we open at five. So what we do is when we get here, so you take your temperature. Great, 98, it's perfect. Our biggest seating is outside. You know, yesterday we had two tables inside. So when it's snowing, are people gonna wanna come in and, and eat? There's QP, there's a little Togarashi in there. There's not a restaurant in the country that can make it on 50% only seating. About four hours, that's usually what they take. That's frightening. That's absolutely frightening for a restaurant. By midsummer, sales continued to slump. 95% of restaurants reported a year-to-year -year drop. Okay, I'll probably stop making the injera. Cooking is my passion from my childhood. I'm not going to keep working, working until I die. Sooner I try to retire. Order for Brianne? Yeah, we uh, had a great run. Order for Steph? In the interest of uh, our employees' health and customers, we've decided that it's best to just kind of call it a day. Blazing Chicken Shack, can I help you? We are a small business just trying to survive. Greens in the window? Just trying to survive like everybody else. Catfish dinner with an extra catfish, catfish dinner, dinner, extra green. And then you want a catfish dinner? dinner? People know us for takeout. So that's, that's been a really good thing for us. By year's end, more than half of the state's restaurant owners doubted they would survive another three months should indoor dining not return soon. And yet, in the numbers we also found, we sell a lot of catfish. <laughs> An unmistakable sense of perseverance. You said there was no business at all. One day, no one calls. The next. Hello, Konishwa. What would you like, sir? That's how I survive. As hard as it was to leave, we do have a chance to start over. And it is that, that hope. So you wake up and you get dressed and you chip away at it. That Dolores now believes will inspire this business. And I haven't lost hope. Her business as it emerges from its most challenging year ever. I honestly don't know that there's anything else I'd want to do. Anything else would feel like a, a distant second. Chris Vanderveen, 9 News.